to accurately label your triangle. Okay? So we've got a right triangle. Theta is very commonly used to label the angles in triangles. It's a Greek letter. It's an O with a circle through it. Okay? That's what theta is. It's just like X. It's just a variable. But it's very, very commonly used in trig. So, um, and then on the worksheet, though, they use capital letters to label the angles. But anyways, uh, I'm going to use theta a lot. So, if theta is that angle on the bottom, now, number one, the hypotenuse is never going to change. Okay, the hypotenuse is always the leg that is across from the 90 degree angle. What we call the opposite and adjacent sides are going to change based on where theta is. Okay, so first of all, the adjacent side. Adjacent means, who can give me a synonym for adjacent? The side of it, next to it. They share something, okay? So the adjacent side in this triangle would be the horizontal side because this angle, and I think sometimes it helps to kind of draw that curve on the angle, this angle touches, or that adjacent side is part of what forms that angle. The hypotenuse and the adjacent form the angle. Okay, the opposite is kind of the result of the angle. This side over here is your opposite. That line that I drew by theta, or curve, whatever you want to call it, does not touch the opposite side. Okay? So, if you are asked for the sine of theta, that's referring to the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. These are ratios. Okay? We call them trigonometric ratios, or trig ratios, um, because they put the sides in a ratio. Cosine of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. Now, um, some people know Sokotoa. Uh, another, and so that's sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Um, I learned, uh, when I learned it, it was oh heck another hour of algebra. Okay, so you just remember that sine, cosine, and tangent, that's the order they go in, and then it's oh heck another hour of algebra. That's the way I learned it. Uh, some people learn uh, some old horse caught another horse taking oats away. Okay, there are all sorts of mnemonic devices out there to help help you remember sign is the opposite of the hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent of the hypotenuse, and tangent is the opposite of the adjacent. Honestly, hopefully you'll use this enough that you'll just learn that that's what they are. Um, but some people need a mnemonic device or something like that to help them remember. So, Sokotoa is usually the most common. Sokotoa sounds like a Native American word, whatever. Um, or whatever it takes for you to remember it. You've got to remember these relationships. The more important than remembering those relationships is you have to be able to correctly label you're trying to. That's honestly the, the biggest issue that people have with this is not correctly labeling their triangle. So it's going to seem like overkill for some of you, but I want you to label every single triangle at least with O, A, and H, okay, based on which angle they're asking you about. So for this first example here, they ask for the sine of Z. So Z is this angle right here. So 50 is our hypotenuse, 48 is our adjacent, and 14 is the opposite. So the sine of Z is equal to the opposite, 14, over the hypotenuse. If that ratio will simplify, you go ahead and simplify it. Those are both divisible by 2. 
So that's 7 over 25. Okay. In the notes and on the worksheet, I've tried to really mix it up and get triangles that are oriented in a bunch of different ways just so you get used to labeling and identifying your sides. So on 22, the sine of C, this is C, so 40 is the hypotenuse. It doesn't matter what angle you're talking about. 40 is going to be the hypotenuse. 32 is the adjacent because 32 is part of that angle, and 24 is the opposite. So the sine of C is the opposite, 24, over the hypotenuse, 40. And 24 and 40 are both divisible by 4, more than that, they're both divisible by 8. 3 over 5 is the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse. Let's do cosine. 23, cosine of A. 17 is the hypotenuse. 8 is the adjacent. 15 is the opposite. So the cosine of the angle is the adjacent, 8, over the hypotenuse, 17. 8 and 17 do not share a common factor. So that is the cosine ratio for angle A. Figure 24, cosine of x, 35 is the hypotenuse, 28 is the adjacent, 21 is the opposite. So cosine of x is the adjacent, 28, over the hypotenuse, 35. I don't think they share anything. They're not, not two. Three, not four. Nope. I think that's as simple as that one ago. Seven? Oh, duh. Seven. Thank you. Divisible by seven. Four over five. Okay. I thought about something I wanted to say and then I forgot. Oh, they're never going to ask you to find the trig ratio of the right angle. Okay, they're never going to ask you the trig ratio of the right angle because you can't identify the opposite and the adjacent. If you're talking about the right angle, the hypotenuse is the opposite. So they will never ask you the trig ratio of the right angle. They will only ask you of the other two angles. Okay? Okay, let's do tangent and then I've got lots of practice for you guys. Okay? And I know, for, this is what I was going to say. For tangent, we technically only need the opposite and the adjacent. Okay, I know that. But it can't hurt to be in the habit of labeling all your sides. Okay, it never hurts. So, angle C in this case, 37 is the hypotenuse, 12 is the adjacent, 35 is the opposite. So, the tangent of this angle is the opposite over the adjacent. Um... Oh, that one definitely doesn't reduce. Two, three, four, six. Yeah, no, that one doesn't reduce. All right, 26, tangent of x. 39 is the hypotenuse. The adjacent is 15. 36 is the opposite. So the tangent of x is the opposite over the adjacent. Those are both divisible by 3, 12 over 5. Oh, guess what? What kind of triangle is that one? Look at what my ratio reduced to. No, it's not as hospitals. 5, 12, 13. Okay. 15 is 5 times 3, 36 is 12 times 3, 39 is 13 times 3. Just wanted to throw that out there while we ran across one of those. And let's see here, another one of these was a special triangle. Which one? Ooh, two of them. 22 and 24. How do I know that? Because looking at my ratios, 
3 over 5, 4 over 5 goes reduced um, to uh, the hypotenuse in one of the legs of a 3, 4, 5. So just wanted to kind of tie that back in. That has no uh, effect on the truth. I just wanted to bring that idea back up. Okay? So 